So today is the day that the E46 project gets a deep interior clean. So we have obviously already cleaned the exterior and that is looking much better now. But one thing that does need a lot of attention is the interior. So I'll show you what kind of state the interior is in. So obviously we do have leather interior which is going to help us somewhat because dirt doesn't tend to get ingrained into the leather as much as cloth but just take a look at the floor you know underneath the floor mats down the sides of the seats underneath the seats center console ashtray yeah this thing really does need a good interior clean take a look at the back as well yeah pretty filthy to be honest this car has definitely been used if we take a look in the boot then similar sort of story in here but nothing a good vacuum out can't fix now the plan is just to make life easier for us is just take the entire interior out so just take the front seats out and then the rear bench is just going to give us much better access to get you know to the places that you can't really reach underneath the seats down the side of the seats and just kind of see what kind of condition the carpet is in so yeah first thing is first then let's start getting the seats out so rear bench should come up nice and easy just have to give it a good firm pull there we go Next thing then is this ISO fix bar. Now I don't think I'm going to take the backs of the rear seats out themselves because yeah there's no there's no real need to. I can just hinge them, you know, kind of if and when I need to to get around them. There's no need to remove that, but I am going to remove this ISO fix bar though. Looks like it's just held in by four T50 bolts, so let's get them removed. And now it's time to get started on the front seats then. So essentially there should just be two bolts at the front, two bolts at the rear. The front sort of, they have this cap over them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this off. Oh, it looks like we have nuts on the front, a nut on a stud, and they do not look rusty, which is good. I guess these caps have kind of done their job then. So let's, uh, let's find out what these what size nuts these are, they look like 15s, but we'll make sure. No, they're not 15, they're 16. That's the front nuts removed then. And then on the rear, looks like we have two 16 millimeter bolts this time. them removed and now if we tilt the seat back should be able to get out the electrical connector there we go that's that removed now the seat can come out of the car just remove the headrest just to make it a bit easier oh, I forgot the seat belt okay so we forgot to remove the seat belt, but as you can see, it's now removed. A couple of trim pieces you need to remove. This main one here that goes around the levers or the switches if your seat is electric. And then this trim here at the bottom that the seat belt goes through. And then the seat belt itself is just held in by this 16 millimeter bolt. But yeah, with the driver's seat now removed, we can kind of see what we are working with in terms of the state of the carpets yeah i think this will come up pretty nice you know with a vacuum maybe with a uh, spray of some all-purpose cleaner i don't think it looks too bad to be honest it just kind of looks a bit messy but yeah i think what we'll do now is we'll get the other seat removed 
then we'll have a full view of the carpet then. Okay, so it turns out I lied. To remove the seat belt, you don't need to take the seat trims off at all. As long as you have the seat in the elevated position, you can clearly get onto that bolt here. Yeah, much easier to remove it that way than, you know, struggling to unclip those side trims there. But yeah, let's continue and get this passenger seat out as well. Okay, so as you can see, passenger seat is now removed, but I've also went ahead and pretty much removed the rest of the interior. So obviously we just have the uh, rear bench there. And then we have this, um, I guess, kind of like a parcel shelf that goes in the rear of the Tourings. Then we have the boot floor. We also have the spare tire well that's removed obviously with the spare tire and the, uh, these two side trims as well toolkit that's removed it's good to uh good to see that we still have the original toolkit in here complete set also went ahead and removed the battery along with the battery tray because i found something a little bit worrying and if we take a look in the boot now then take a look in the battery tray we can see we actually have some water in there and uh, yeah I definitely want to get that out because if that is sitting for a long time then that is just gonna rust right through the bottom of there so yeah good job I did remove the battery but yeah here is how the rest of the uh, boot is looking not too bad as you can see you know no damage to the boot floor or anything just this is just general dirt and dust that can just be removed with a vacuum here's how the other side is looking now here's the best bit then, if we take a look inside, we can really just see how much filth is inside here. Well, take a look, at, that's the driver's side then, so you've already seen that. And this is the passenger side. This is just untouched, bear in mind uh, the mats are still down as well, so there may be some more hiding under the mats. But yeah, I think next thing then will be uh, to get the mats up and then start giving this thing a good vacuum out. So before I start vacuuming then, I'm actually gonna pick up what I can by hand because a lot of this is just gonna clog up the vacuum cleaner. We do have some money as well, so we'll uh, pick up all that and uh, give it a good count. But um, yeah, let's get cracking. need to keep this that's for the passenger side wing this is the trim piece that's missing and you're probably wondering why aren't you wearing gloves for this I don't know but I am going to be cleaning them thoroughly after all right I think that's the interior pretty much done in terms of the big pieces that I can remove by hand. I think it's now time to start vacuuming. So here is how the driver's side is looking then after its first vacuum. It's by no means perfect yet. We still have, you know, some crumbs and we still have some dust and some stains of God knows what. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the passenger side as well and also do the center console because this needs a good vacuum. It's full of dust and whatever else. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this and the passenger side. And then we can go ahead and address the areas that need some more attention.
So I decided to remove the center console because look just how dirty this thing is. Wanted to remove all these just to get all that dirt and dust out. And uh, yeah, take a look underneath what was hiding away as well. It's just gonna make it so much easier just to clean the carpet rather than trying to get right close to that trim piece there. Yeah, it's just gonna make it so much easier. And it only took five minutes to remove anyway, so yeah, let's continue vacuuming. Okay, so here's how the interior is looking then after a good vacuum. Now, as you can see, especially on the passenger side, we have some pretty bad stains. So that is gonna need some more work. I'm gonna try and get my hands on a wet vacuum if I can because that would definitely help with them and just save so much time. Here's how the center console area is looking. Much better now, again, nowhere near finished, but um, yeah, a whole lot better than what it was. Now I've actually went ahead and gave the boot area a good vacuum out. Looks so much better now, you know, just a quick vacuum out. I'm gonna actually give this a good spray up with some um, all-purpose cleaner just to kind of get rid of any of these uh, stains and you know the stubborn dirt and whatever but um, yeah starting to come together now I've also dried the battery tray out as well because I had some water sitting in it And after a wipe out then with some all purpose cleaner, here's how we're looking. Much better now. So it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good. Right, okay, so I kind of left you yesterday, we seem to have run out of light again. I kind of left you yesterday with the boot area being wiped out. I actually went ahead and reinstalled all of the trim pieces pretty much for the boot. And uh, that's all been nice and cleaned out. The only thing I've got to do is um, give this carpet a good scrub. You know, it's got some uh, some dirty marks on it, so that should come up quite nice. But yeah, the battery tray has been cleaned out. Battery's been cleaned. You know, all of the bracket, all of these trim pieces have been, you know, cleaned. So everything is looking nice and new now. And here's what we have left then. I think what I'm going to do is actually just get the boot area done first, get all that closed away, and then I can focus on the seats and the rest of the interior like I said there is some pretty bad stains on the uh, on the actual carpet so I've got to attack them that's going to take some time to get rid of so yeah let's concentrate on getting the boot area done this should only uh, take me what 10-20 minutes just to give it a good um, a vacuum and uh, you know clean some of these little pieces up um, and then yeah, we'll get get all the boot done, get the seats folded back, and uh, then like I said, we'll concentrate on the inside then. Okay then, so the boot area is now pretty much done. As you can see, everything is looking so much nicer now. Everything has been deep cleaned, even the spare wheel and the toolkit that has all been put away properly. And that is the boot pretty much done. It's now time to move on to the interior. So, before I go ahead and scrub the carpets and give them the final vacuum, I think what I'll do is actually focus on the dash because if I do the carpets first, if I finish the carpet and then do the dash, everything that's on the dash is then going to fall onto the carpets and, I'm going to, and then I'm going to have to redo them again. So, I think what I'm going to do is get the dash looking nice, you know, clean down the centre console and everything and uh, yeah, then I'll focus on the carpets after. First thing though, is to remove these Minion stickers. I hope they don't leave too much residue because that'll be another job to do. But no, first one's peeled off fairly easily. Let's hope they all go like this. Hopefully they're not hiding a huge scratch as well, because uh, that's always a possibility why someone's put them on there.
And just with a quick wipe over then, this is how the dashboard is looking now. Much better already. And now is a good time to clean the door cards themselves as well. Okay, so all of the door cards are now done. It's time to get started on underneath the rear bench and I'm gonna give the rear seats uh, a good clean as well and then put the rear bench back in. And then we are gonna finish with the carpets, the center console, and then finally the front seats. Okay, so rear seats back in now, looking nice and clean. Let's get started on these carpets. Okay, so carpets are now pretty much complete. Gave them a good scrub and then a second vacuum stains seem to have came out quite nicely i need to give the center console a good clean because these are filthy and then they can go back in the car and with the center console back in place nice and clean it's time to get started on the front seats So after giving the front seats a clean in, here's how we're looking. This is the driver's seat. And here is how the passenger seat is looking then. So much better. These have cleaned up very, very well. Now obviously they have covered 205,000 miles so there is going to be some bolster wear marks and the odd scuff here and there. But on the whole, yeah these are looking so much better.
And with the seats back in then, we are pretty much done. I actually went ahead and reinstalled the floor mats. As you can see, they are all nice and clean as well. Also gave the inside of the glass a good wipe out and gave everything a good final clean. And as you can see, this thing is looking pretty good in here. I mean, you know, just look at the floors, try to remember how they were before, how filthy they were. The seats, they've came up really nice. It's got so much nicer in here now. The center console, that's came up really nice. The steering wheel, could you believe that this steering wheel has covered 205,000 miles? You know, still looks pretty fresh. Some obviously, you know, some small wear marks on it, but you know, it looks really, really good for the age and the mileage. Door cards, they came up really nice. And then of course the boot area as well. That's came up really nice. Carpet is looking so much better than all the trim pieces. Battery cover and the battery, all that's been cleaned out. But yeah, the car is just a much nicer place to be now. You know, no nasty smells, no nasty stains, everything nice and clean. This came up very, very nice. There is just one thing I want to sort out in the interior, and that is this sun visor here. Um, obviously the original one has been snapped off. I have ordered a new one, it's going to be the same colour as that, so when that arrives the interior will be pretty much complete. But yeah, I'm over the moon with this to be honest. This came up very, very nice and a lot better than you know, I expected. Okay then, so that is the deep interior clean done on the cheap BMW 46 project then. Um, I think you can agree, you know, the car has completely transformed now since we've done the deep um, exterior clean and the deep interior clean. Um, yes, yeah, completely different car since the day that I bought it. Um, a lot of things still left to come. I've ordered a whole bunch of parts, um, so stay tuned for some more videos on this car. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one. Peace.